Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to another No BS Social Media Chat. We're talking about trust this week. Oh, okay, I guess technically we're talking about trust. One of the things I've started talking about with people, especially when they're dealing with social media, is when you talk to people who, well, everybody's got an opinion now. Everybody's become an expert when it comes to social media. And I run into people a lot of times who, when I start working with other teams, especially in the music business, when you're working with publicity agents, when you're working with record labels and things like that, they all have their own social media and I'm going to use the word guru here, which in the social media world, guru is a bad word, because these people are the experts. And, and a lot of times, here's the reality, they're very young. They're just out of college. And because they're young, they automatically get the nod for being the expert. Now, let's be honest. I'm no spring chicken. I've been around the block a time or two. And when it comes to social media, having done it for over a decade now, I'm actually an old timer. I'm actually a grandfather in the whole social media world, and I don't mind that. Because the one thing I've told a lot of people I work with is, well, I appreciate everybody's an expert, everybody's a guru when it comes to social media. I ask them to show me what they're doing for their social media, if they're practicing what they're preaching. And nine times out of ten, anybody who's an expert, anybody who's got an opinion on social media, isn't doing it for themselves. They'll give you the excuse they're doing it all for the clients. And I understand that. When I first made the switch from radio into the music business and directly into the music business, I was running a small, a small startup for social media, a small website that you know we ended up losing or we ended up having to sell off long before we got launched. And I kind of took a back seat. I said, you know, I'd been in the public eye for so long. I'd been, I don't want to say famous, but famous isn't a good word, but I'd been recognized for so long, I wanted to hide. I wanted to hide behind my company. I just wanted to, well, fall backwards. And time and time again, as I was meeting with people, they said to me, your name is your brand. You are the reason that people are coming to Intensity Media. You're the reason that people are coming to your Integrity National Company, not because of the name of the company. The name doesn't have any value. It's Kevin Mason that has the value because you're the known quantity. And I understood that, and I knew that, and I finally came to the realization they were right. And I needed to step back up and start practicing what I preached because I have to be able to show my clients that if I can say I can do it for them, here's what I'm doing for me. So I really worked at building my Twitter following up to 17,000 from about 1,700 at one time and really tried to start engaging more with those people and, and doing more on my social media. Because at the end of the day, I spent all day working on social media for my clients. Well, I didn't want to do my own social media. When it came to Instagram, which I really came to love, I started doing more and more and started building my fan base and started then spreading out and, and experimenting with having multiple pages. I have five uh, Instagram pages just for me on social media because I found I have different audiences for each of those pages. I found that if I put one kind of picture on my normal page, well, it only got a small percentage. People were looking for a specific content, and so I started gearing for a specific content. When I explain that to well, new clients, when I explain that to potential clients, they start seeing that, well, I know what I'm talking about. And this isn't a, and this isn't a talk to say, hey, you need to come use my services, because again, there's a lot of people out there doing what I do. Every day you run into companies who have become experts at social media. And whether they're, they're traditional publicists who have had a social media component in the music business, whether it's in the media and they've hired somebody internally to do social media for them. And hey, I have no problem with that. But more importantly, you need to look at the people you're trusting with the social media and saying, hey, what are they doing? What are their best practices? And how are they doing it? You know, one thing I, I say, I'm not ashamed of anything I put up on social media. I've gotten snarky at times, but I know when and where and how to do it. I'm not going to do anything that's going to jeopardize my potential business, my company, my clients, my friends, um, and that's important. Can you say that for well, a young person? Again, and this isn't a discussion about hiring an old guy versus hiring a young person. This is about really vetting the process and really looking deep into the people well, you, you, you hire with social media and say, okay, can I trust these people? If, if I need somebody to help me with my social media, if I just even need somebody to advise me with my social media, you know, advice is free. You're getting free advice here. We're 100 plus episodes in on the No BS social media videos. Um, I'd like to think if you keep going back, you can see that you can trust the advice I give. You can see if you really wanted to spend the time and dig into it, that, well, I practice what I preach and I speak about, well, I speak about no BS. And again, as I told you from the start, when we first started these, um, a, a buddy of mine in, in North Carolina who was into social media, who has a, a PhD and merges about the education world, and he's actually doing a lot of consulting in the real estate world with social media, said, you know, the one thing I see about you is you're a no BS guy, and that really needs to be who you are. You're not flashy. You're not doing campaigns. You're not trying to trick anybody. You're not trying to scam anybody. This is about building actual engagement 
actual fans, actual followers, actual friends, and building a community and building engagement. And that's when we took the whole no BS philosophy to town and, and well, you're here today. So if you're going to engage with somebody when it comes professionally to social media, when you're going to listen to somebody about well, things you should do or you are doing and you're not doing with your social media, again, I don't care if they're a professional. I don't care if they're a guru or not. Look to see what they're doing. Look to see if you can trust their judgment. Look to see if you can trust their advice. Again, it's all about practicing what you preach. That's the world of social media. Back next week with another the No BS social media chat. Again, you want to talk more? Hey, pick up the phone, send me an email, all my info coming up here at the end of the video, and we'll be back next week with another chat, another No BS social media chat. Thanks so much. See ya.